Hi, Tom Condon here. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to returning to Copenhagen in April, April 13th and 14th, to do a weekend workshop called, the, called Deeper into the Enneagram, The Four Paths to Change. Now, the workshop is for people who do coaching, counseling, or therapy, also people who use the Enneagram in their personal life, to as a framework for growing and changing, a way to understand themselves, a way to understand others, and also a way to uh, sort of uh, go beyond the limitations of their Enneagram style and their um, the, the fixated part of it, the way in which it's kind of defensive or uh, reactions that used to serve you in the past that no longer are very helpful or meaningful in the present. The workshop will uh, illustrate and then also offer you some uh, methods and we're going to talk about and explore what different methods do. It, they, they roughly break into four slightly overlapping categories. Uh, one category would be what I would call standing back which is where people try to develop a, an observing ego or they become a witness to their own Enneagram reactions rather than having the reactions or acting them out. This can also include the, the kind of insight that the Enneagram brings, ways in which you understand yourself and others on deeper and deeper levels in more and more detail. Another class of methods and techniques I would call going against, and we will explore these as well. Uh, going against methods include interrupting a pattern, you know, recognizing after you've been observing yourself and standing back for a while, how you get caught in the trance of your Enneagram style, the reactivity of your Enneagram style. And once you recognize that pattern, kind of... Uh, uh, interrupting it, doing something else, finding other options and alternative ways to respond to something in the present rather than responding as you might have done in the past. In addition, going against could include uh, gathering the strengths and resources and, and capacities and talents that go with your Enneagram style and bringing those to bear on the low side. That is to say, the defensive pattern where you have the, the reactivity. You also have a number of kind of implicit strengths and explicit strengths. And applying those, there are a number of methods for applying those usefully and uh, to, to help you kind of wash away the defensiveness, to drain your responses of their defensive intensity. Another class of methods that uh, are quite useful is uh, what I call going with. And this is where you sort of sink into a Enneagram reaction, a defensive personality reaction, a way in which you get stuck, a way in which you get caught in a pattern, caught in a trance, and get to the bottom of it, essentially. In other words, kind of exploring what it's doing for you, how it's helping. Maybe it's helping in a way that used to be uh, useful, not so much now in 2019. And also uh, kind of going deeper and deeper into the, the, the gist of and the essence of a reaction that comes out of your Enneagram style in a way that frees you up, in a way that allows you to uh, have more choices and alter the sort of emotional ground that you're reacting out of. And then a fourth class of methods has to do with um, going beyond, I would say. And the going beyond methods uh, can include things like uh, meditation, where you're trying to open yourself to a broader view of the world, to remove illusions and scrims and... Uh, uh, kind of masking that you might do between yourself and the outer present reality, developing more presence, it's called sometimes. And as well, 
Sometimes going beyond involves modeling others or modeling yourself, modeling the high side of your own Enneagram style and uh, kind of uh, creating uh, pictures and gathering information about the, the way in which you'd like to be and then stepping into those pictures and trying them out. And there are a number of methods for doing that that are quite helpful. So we're going to be exploring those methods and I will be bringing to the workshop some methods that I've found quite useful over the years and more recently have come up with that have been helpful for people in working on the, the dilemmas and the, the traps and the illusions of their Enneagram style. So that's going to be the workshop and like I say, it'll be for people who are working on themselves or working with others in, uh, to sort of free themselves up and come out of the limitations of their Enneagram style and uh, begin to access the high side much more easily and much more readily, and as well then going beyond that and being able to have greater presence and awareness of themselves and others in the present, in 2019. So, hope that sounds interesting to you, and uh, hope to see you in Copenhagen in April. Thanks a lot.